What's up guys, welcome to another FIFA Ultimate Team video and today EA have released player moments Marcus Rashford, a 91 rated striker honouring his outstanding community contributions in which he was able to reverse the government's decision on free school meals during the summer break for kids, allowing them to have them still, which is very nice of him indeed. So what we're going to do today is check out his in-game stats, then we're going to see how much it costs to complete the SBC before finally talking about the best chem stars to use with this card. Straight off the bat, he is only a 91 rated striker card, he already has a team of the season which is 94 rated. So it'll be interesting to see what the differences are. First up, he's got the high attack, high defense work rates, which is all right for a striker. You probably want either a high attack with a medium or low defensive work rates, but still relatively good. Skill moves of five stars is fantastic, and his weak foot is four stars, which is actually an improvement. His team of the season so far card only has a three star weak foot, so that is nice to see indeed. In terms of his attributes, fantastic pace with the acceleration of 92 and sprint speed of 98. Shooting stats look very solid with an attack position of 92, finishing of 88, shot power of 96, lo long shots of 86, volleys of 83, and penalties of 83. In terms of his passing, it's not the best, it's okay. With vision of 84 and short pass of 84, his crossing at an 83, free kick accuracy of an 85, long pass of a 70, and curve of a 92. In terms of his dribbling stats, agility of 94 is very good. His balance of 82 could be considered a little bit low. Reactions of 88 are good. His ball control of 90 is good, and his dribbling of 93 is very nice. Composure 85 again is one that could be considered low but it's not bad. In terms of defensive stats, skip past those, really bad. Physically though, aggression of 81 is fantastic, strength of 83 is very good and his stamina of 97 is exceptional and his jumping of 80 is okay as well. So all in all, pretty good. In terms of traits, he contains the power free kick trait, flair trait and team player trait, interesting. Nice to see a few traits on him, but not the ones that you're really looking for, like outside the foot or um, finesse finisher or anything like that, unfortunately. But generally speaking, he is a very nice card indeed. I like his pace. I like his dribbling stats. There's a lot to work with here, and with the right chem star, could be a very nice player to play with indeed, especially with his five-star skill moves and his four-star weak foot. Mm -hmm. Like with all these cards, it all comes down to how much this particular SBC costs. Straight from the off, we can see it just needs two squads, and it is around for just under seven days. First squad required is a Manchester United player with a team of the season so far, or team of the week player in an 84 rated squad with 80 chemistry. In return, you get prime Electron players pack. And then the other squad is an English player with a team of the season so far, a team of the week player in an 85 rated squad with 75 chemistry. You get premium gold players back in return. All right, so straight from the off, I'm going to say for a card of this quality, that seems slightly expensive given what other cards have been around recently. Um, so it's a little bit disappointing unfortunately um you're probably looking at well in excess of potentially 250k given how much it costs right now on the market just to get 84 and 85 rated cards it's really really expensive right there so this is going to be a very lucrative sbc to complete by all means i wouldn't say don't complete it but if you can try and reduce that cost as much as possible through assets or just rewards that you might get in order to build up the squads to obtain this player then by all means go ahead and complete it now if you do complete the player and you want one of the best chem stars to use with him i have a few in mind the first one as always is my beloved engine reason for the engine is because i'm not a big fan of his balance being at an 82 and i'd like to see it get a big increase so in a plus 10 chemistry position within his dribbling stats his agility and dribbling itself will both max out to 99s his balance becomes a 92, which is very nice. Reactions are 93 and ball control are 96. In terms of his pace, his acceleration goes up to a 97 with his sprint speed maxing out to a 99. And he also gets some nice boost within his passing, which is not his best category uh, on this card. So what you see is his vision go up to an 89. That crossing becomes an 88. The free kick actually goes up to a 95. Short passing becomes an 89. Long passing becomes an 80 which is very nice indeed. In terms of another chem star I would consider using, I do like the look of a marksman, especially on his shooting stats. He's already got the great pace. You could just accept the fact that he's not going to be a very good passer and just stick him, like, just 
keep him at striker and just keep him up there try not to get him involved too much in passing plays so what you'll see here within his shooting stats is his positioning goes to a 97 finishing becomes a 98 his shot power maxes out to a 99 long shots becomes a 96 volleys becomes a 93 and penalties becomes an 88 in terms of his dribbling stats his agility max outs to a 99 reactions become a 92 ball control becomes a 96 and dribbling becomes a 98 and also he gets a nice little boost physically which would be quite nice with the aggression now becoming an 86 and his strength becoming an 88 with his jumping of a 90. Generally speaking, this is a nice little chem style to use. Definitely makes him uh, a predator within the box. Uh, his balance still does kind of concern me, but with his strength of aggression being quite high, considering what some forwards' aggression and strength are like, he could still be very dangerous within the box. The final one that I'd probably recommend is going to be a sniper. Reason for the sniper is just because it gives him maxed finishing and very good positioning. So what you see in a plus 10 chemistry position is his finishing goes up to a 99. The positioning becomes a 97. His volleys becomes a 93 and his penalties becomes a 98. And he also gets really nice dribbling as well with the agility looking at a 99. His balance then becomes an 87. Reaction goes up to a 93. Ball control becomes a 96, dribbling becomes a 99, and his composure goes up to a 90. Generally speaking, I like this card, and I think with the right chem star, it could be very, very good within game. Uh, the price of this particular card, what it could be potentially coming in at, I mean, you're looking at well in excess of over 200k just because of how expensive, like I touched on before, 84 rated and 85 rated cards are right now. Wow, geez, just checking the first glimpses on Footbin, it's coming in at around about 300. 100k that is insane so yeah definitely try and reduce the amount that you uh pay in just liquid coins to obtain this card and generally speaking now i would expect his team of the season card to kind of crash in value because of the fact this guy's got a this particular version of his card has a four star weak foot where his team of the year uh, team of the season version only has a three star weak foot anyway guys that's going to do it for today's video i hope you enjoyed it please leave your comments below let me know what you think of this marcus rashford card really like the fact he's got a, uh, a weak foot upgrade bringing it up to four stars generally a pretty good card but very expensive to complete uh, but until next time guys please remember to like the video subscribe to the channel and i'll catch you guys laters